we want to maximize all of our locations. We were on the bridge for the first shot, wide angle. We took a few steps to the left, and now we're going to take advantage of these rocks, these nice rocks over here. Obviously, we want our model to be as safe as possible, but so I asked her first to make sure she was okay with it. I always do that, whether it's an athlete or somebody that just, just you know, doing casual senior pictures, you want to make sure that they feel safe at all times. We've got some rocks over here. There's a, a river running through. You know, we've got some trees that we can blur out. So I'm mainly, I'm going to use two cameras, but I'm going to start out with my 70 to 200. I probably use this lens 90% of the time when I take senior pictures because there's a lot of versatility to it. And with one setup, you can, I always try to do as wide as the lens will go, and then I zoom in about halfway, and then I zoom in as much as it'll go. So tight, middle, wide, that's what I always try to remind myself in the back of my head. That way you get three different pictures with the same setup, and then you can go vertical and horizontal also. So then you have six right there. You could do smiling and serious, and then you know, you've know you got 12 different pictures. So you can maximize what you're doing in one spot by, zoom, by using a zoom lens, zooming in, zooming out, and changing her expression. So we're gonna start out with her sitting down, I'm probably going to kneel or sit down right here so I can get level with her so I'm not shooting down. My camera settings, I'm, I've got my D4S 7200 2.8. I'm at right now F4, 1 250th of a second. White balance is flash and my ISO is 100. That's the settings I'm starting out with. Again, I brought my camera up to the scene first and took a shot without her in it and metered in the camera and adjusted it to my liking. I don't typically use a flash meter. I like to creatively get the lighting the way that I gravitate towards. So sometimes that might be a little brighter, a little darker. It just kind of depends on the situation. That's why I don't meter. That's why I meter in camera and then adjust it from there. And then I add my flash in. We're using the same light, one Einstein with an extra, extra large rapid box. And uh, we've got double, both layers of diffusion on it. And we've got it camera left up a little bit above the model and pointed down about 45 degrees. I'm gonna take a few shots back and I'm like I said, I'm gonna zoom out, zoom in, and then I'm gonna move closer and use a wide angle. And before I get started, that is one other thing that I like to do is have two different camera bodies and I keep my wide angle, my 14 to 24 on one, my 70 to 200 on the other one. That way you can use both of them. You don't have to switch lenses, which takes time. You don't want your model to get restless while you're fumbling around switching lenses. And if you're outside, that can also get your sensor really dirty and get sensor spots on it. And it's good to clean your camera, but you don't want to do it any more than you have to. So that eliminates the sensor spots and helps you save time. So that's why I'm using two different bodies. We've got the, the D800 with the 1424 and the D4S again with the 7200. So now I'm going to kneel down, take a few shots, and then we'll walk up, take a few wide, and then adjust, uh, adjust the light up and have her stand up. Okay, Courtney, that's good. Let's try the small little grin right now. Not, not a big, super big smile or anything. Just make sure you relax. And one thing also, I'm back pretty far from her, probably 15 or 20 feet. So I've got to really make sure that I speak clearly and she can hear me with my direction because otherwise she's not going to know what to do. So, and you can see we've got people running and driving by on bikes. So it's kind of loud. So I want to make sure that she can hear me the whole time. Okay, ready? Good, that's perfect right there. Don't move. All right, a little bit happier now. Good job. I think you can do better with the smile. That was just a tad fake. <laughs> smile. You gotta look happy. Don't give me the cheesy fake smile. There you go. Good job. Okay, I think I've got what I, what I need here. Now I'm gonna move closer switch cameras, use my wide angle with my other body, get some really wide so it's give, you, give her some variety. And then I'm gonna have her stand up and I'm gonna raise the light up and we're gonna go through that process again. 